Shalom, shalom, everybody. It's Pastor Rose Bijou Ramirez. Welcome to our youth meeting on Zoom with Christ Love Ministries International, the long awaited and probably forgotten youth meeting. So if you are here, God bless you. Can you please share a message to your fellow youth members? If you've got friends that you know that are supposed to be here or not here, just kindly share the video link to them because maybe they are not connected on Zoom because they don't know how to. Just send them the Zoom link and we will get started. Welcome in the name of Jesus. So we have our ground rules, which will be repeated again when Sister Betty starts to lead prayers. Uh, during the prayer times, everyone can unmute so we can pray together. During the message, kindly mute yourself so that there is no interference. But if you wish to ask a question, there is a button where you raise your hand. I'm very happy for you to click on that button and raise your hand, and I'm going to give you a chance to talk. You unmute yourself and you talk. And then when there is singing as well, there can be an interference because we're not in the same place. You can sing as loud as you can in your place where you are, just mute yourself. During the Q&A session, please press the raise hand button and we will allow you to speak. Make sure you also unmute so you can speak. We're going to pray and open our session with prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amazing God, we bless you because you are awesome. There is no other God like you, awesome God. We bless you today. We welcome you in our midst, Father. We say you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy, Father. There is no other God like you. Father, you say we two or three are gathered, Lord, you are in the midst. Here we are this morning, this evening, this afternoon, depending on the time at which we find ourselves at your throne, at your feet, at your feet, oh God, we are here praying, we are welcoming you in our midst, Holy Spirit, take absolute control, may I decrease, may you alone increase, may we decrease, may you alone increase, May we disappear, may you alone appear. As we're about to start this youth meeting, Father, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. Touch the hearts of those that are connected this evening. And those who are on their way somewhere, who have forgotten, Lord, Holy Spirit, remind them of this very important, special appointment. In the name of Jesus. If you are at home, just begin to say to the Lord that he is worthy. Welcome him in your space. Hallelujah. Welcome him in your home. Welcome him in your space so that there will be no distractions at all. So only Jesus alone will be glorified. Invite the Lord Jesus in your home right now. He says, I am standing at the door and I am knocking. Whosoever will open, I will come in. And when I come in, I will dine with him. And when the Lord says, I will dine with you, oh my God, it's such an important thing because when he says he will dine with you it means he's about to do something when he says he will dine with you it means he's about to listen he's about to give you something precious imagine the king of england coming into your home he says i am knocking i am knocking i am knocking if you open i will come in let him come in right now in the name of jesus revelation 3 20 says I am standing at the door and I am knocking. The Lord is standing at the door of your heart right now. He wants to speak to you as a young person. He wants to dine with you. He wants to give you gifts that is prepared for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we open our hearts to you. We open our hearts to you, Father, and we say, come in. Lord Jesus, we open our minds to you and we say, come in. We open our minds to you and we say, come in. Come in and do a new thing. Reka nikla rabarebo. Reke se terebo sherebo. Reka rabarebo sherebo. Make a rebo bobo shetaya. Nekarabare bobo sherebo sintaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Make Larabarebo come in right now, Lord. Come in right now, Lord. Come in right now. We welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Make Larabarebo shete. You are 
Alpha and Omega. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. We give you the glory. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship, we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Begin to thank the Lord for the opportunities given you again today to connect as a young person, even if you are older than 15, than 16, than 20. You are as young as you feel right now. If you are connected in this youth meeting today, begin to thank the Lord for the opportunity to hear the word. Tell him, Father, speak to my heart that I may be able to transmit the information I will get here to other young people who may not be in this place today. Holy Spirit, we welcome you take control. We pray for the message of tonight. We pray for the message. We pray for the prayer. We pray for everyone that I will connect, I will give a message or lead prayer, Holy Spirit. Take control in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to us and may your anointing come down. Lord, we call on your glory to come down in our midst tonight. We want to call on your glory, Father, where your glory is, oh God, chains are broken. Where your glory is, oh God, things change for the positive. We need you right now. We need you right now. Come. Holy Spirit, we need you. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come, in your strength and your power. Come, in thy own special way. It shall be permanent, it shall be permanent, what the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent, it shall be permanent, it shall be permanent, what the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent, hallelujah. I'm just waiting on Sister Betty. Give me a sign and tell me when you are ready. The young people in the group are saying they cannot connect. It's asking them for a password. The link is asking them for a password. Hallelujah. So I'm going to keep praying until Sister Betty tells me to be able to continue and start. Hallelujah. So we want to call on the blood of Jesus, the blood of the lamb that speaks better things and greater things and much louder than that of Abel. Let's call on that blood to begin to purify you and our way we are in the mighty name of Jesus. Even the machines that we are using, the computers that we are using, the phones that we are using, they, they have so many things in it. They've got the internet, they've got emails, they've got messages from Facebook, 
things that don't please God, things that don't honor God. So we're going to call on the Lord Jesus to cleanse us where we are, cleanse our homes, cleanse the equipment that we are using, that there will be nothing that will stop this meeting from happening in the name of Jesus. Call on the blood of Jesus to cleanse your mind, to cleanse your heart, to cleanse everything about you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Call on the blood to cleanse us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we call on your blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the Lamb. We call on that blood to purify our minds, our hearts, to sanctify the place of this worship tonight, to sanctify the equipment that we are using today, to sanctify the phones that we are using today, to sanctify even the Zoom link that we are using today. We call on the blood of Jesus to begin to purify and sanctify our minds and our hearts, oh God, that we will be blameless before you, that we will be ready to receive from you the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We call on you in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, call on the blood of Jesus where you are. Call on the blood of Jesus to sanctify, to purify in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we connected? I wish I could hear you. Can somebody unmute so that we can hear the prayer? Just call on the blood of Jesus to begin to purify and sanctify. People who are trying to connect, who are not able to connect, may the blood of Jesus remove any blockage that is stopping the connection from happening. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, we call on you today. We call on you in this meeting, sanctify the place of our worship, sanctify the place of this meeting, sanctify the link that we are using today in the name of Jesus. We come against any plan of the enemy to make this meeting unsuccessful in the name of Jesus. Lord, we invite you. May you alone be glorified. May nothing in Hinder this meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jehovah is your name. 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 Sing mighty warrior, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name sing mighty warrior mighty warrior great in battle jehovah is your name jehovah is your name jehovah is your name jehovah is your name Jehovah is your name. 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 Sing mighty warrior, mighty warrior. Great in battle, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, God, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, Nisi, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, Rapha, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, Tikenu, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, Roy, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, God. El Shaddai, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, 
You are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high, Jehovah. Roy, you are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high, mighty God. You are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high, Jehovah. Jireh, you are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high God. Can somebody clap for this Lord of God? Can you unmute? Just clap for the Lord. He's the Jehovah El Gibor. He's the Jehovah El Shaddai. He's the Hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi. He's the Jehovah Rohi. He's the Jehovah Jireh. He's the Jehovah Rafa. He's the Jehovah Shara El Shaddai. He's the Jehovah Shalom. The Lord our peace. He's the Jehovah, the ever present God. He's the God that is there when we call on him, hallelujah. She says, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. He's the Jehovah. He's in our midst right now, the Emmanuel. Begin to magnify the name of the Emmanuel God, who is among us right now. We magnify you for creating us fearfully and wonderfully. Wonderfully, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we say, Amen. Amen. What's happening with our link, Sister Betty? I believe from the from what I can gather, it may be that some people are trying to connect on a computer, but they need to have that link ready. So they need. I've told them what to do if anyone's connecting on a computer. They need to email it to themselves and connect from there. Otherwise, follow your link from your phone and it should be okay. So we're yeah. good to go, really. If they're, in a group, if they're in a group, somebody has a phone, they can connect on the phone and just connect with that person's phone. Hallelujah. I believe they've been successful. Can you please help Sister Grace? I'm not sure if she has been successful. I will uh, send you her number. And okay, if, you can, uh, if you can connect with her and just make sure that she Good is day, able. Pastor, I actually managed. You managed? Hey, yes, praise Pastor. the Lord. <laughs> Amen. A bit of an IT session there. Amen. We are young okay. people. So, Pastor. Um, Sister Betty was supposed to do the prayer, but I ended up doing her part. Amen. God is good. Sister Joy, welcome. Brother Joshua, welcome. I don't know. We are not that many connected. Can I just ask the media, the people who are media, where are you connected from? Before we... I think the name we are the media. ones where from Vinduk. Vinduk, yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Vinduk Church. Go Christ Vinduk. love ministry. Go Vinduk. Vinduk. Go Vinduk. Well done. Can I say, um, Brother Joshua? I'm sorry, I only see names. If you're a pastor, my apologies. Brother Joshua, are you connecting from? Uh, from Rundu. It's the Rundu team. Rundu, hey. Go Rundu. And Go tell Rundu. me where you're connecting from. <laughs> <laughs> Who tell sell me? me? Where you connecting from? Tell me. Who sell me? Yeah. Somebody's name says sell me here. I'm connected from Bindu. Oh, hey, hello, hey, Tommy. Hey. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. And. Hey. Um, I had Sister Nankali. I had Sister Nankali's connection earlier, but she dropped out. I'll, I'll Just find send her it. a link in person. Okay, okay, guys, we can enjoy. Joy, where are you connecting from? I'm just gonna read names because I can't see your faces. Joy, where are you connected from? Chumep. Hello, Chumep. Welcome, Yay. welcome, Chumep. Chumep represented. Yes, so. If uh, you have a comment to make, we've got a chat section. You can actually write, thank you, media team. You can write in the chat box. While I'm teaching, if you have a question, please feel free. If it's really burning, raise up your hand. If it's not burning, write it down. We will have a Q&A session. You can ask the question. So Sister Betty, honor us by uh, 
praying just to surrender this message in the hands of God and I will and then you give us a presentation and we'll start. Amen. Let's Amen. pray everybody. Father in the name of Jesus we bless you and we worship you for you are worthy to be praised. Father we thank you for the honor and the privilege that we have to be here together together in your name to hear from you to be in your presence, to be blessed and guided by you. Father, thank you for the lives that you have put together here to, to hear from you and be guided by you. Father, thank you for the message that you have prepared for us to receive today. We surrender our minds. We surrender our hearts. We surrender, Father God, all control unto you. Father, we surrender our understanding to you. May you give us your understanding, give us your wisdom. Holy Spirit, I pray that you will open our ears for us not to just hear what is being said on one dimension, but when we listen and hear every level of the message that's being delivered, even the one that you want to deliver personally into our hearts and our lives. We cover this space under the precious blood of Jesus and we protect it with the blood of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus render us invisible to the eye of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that as we have come here, may none of us leave the way that we came. Father, you know what we came with. I pray that you will give us packages that you will take back to help us in our everyday, that will feed into every area of our lives. We surrender the, the people that will lead us today into your hands. Father, may you use them as your mouthpiece. May not be them speaking, but may be you, may be you through them in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again for this wonderful opportunity. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pray that at the end of this session, I'll be able to see some faces. It's always good to see faces. I understand you want to hide away for now, but at the end, please, I would love to see some faces and the Lord will bless us. So I'm Pastor Rose for those who don't know me. Uh, and uh, feel free to send this link to some of your friends who are not part of Christ Love Ministries International, because I have done so. I have sent it to some young people who are not part of Christ Love Ministries, and hopefully they will connect soon. So share the word. Sharing is caring. In this case, it's definitely sharing is definitely caring, because you are sharing the word of God to people who need it. Okay. So starting with our presentation, I'm Pastor Rose. I live in London. A uh, quick introduction for those who didn't know, very briefly, I am a child of Christ Love Ministries, born again and baptized in Christ Love Ministries. 1997 was the year I was baptized and the Lord God appeared to me in a tremendously anointed way and I've never been the same again, as you can see. And, and I moved to London 2002 and that's where we have been with my family since then. And there I have managed to become a registered nurse, currently studying with my master's in psychology to become a psychologist. And I am currently leading a church called Empowerment Ministries of Christ, which started since last year. And as most of you witnessed, I was recently ordained by Bishop, my mommy that I love so much, that I've been bugging for many, many years with my love, uh, Bishop Elizabeth Arowolo. She can't get rid of me even if she tried. I'm stuck on her and I love her to bits. And so I am here today because this um, platform was created so that we can empower the young people we believe some of us are sleeping as young people. We want to empower us, encourage us so that we'll be able to uh, raise up and rise up and be strong and win more souls for God. But before we can go out there and win souls for God, we ourselves need to be empowered. If we don't know who we are, we don't know our identity, instead of us winning the world, the world will swallow us in. And that is the reason we are here. So my presentation is on the topic are fearfully and wonderfully made. If we can kindly mute ourselves so we can listen to the message. God bless you. Okay. I, I, I'm not very good with technology, so 
I did my best and I hope all my mistakes made with this presentation have been uh, fixed by Sister Betty. If not, you are going to see my secrets because all the mistakes will be aired to you. But never, nevertheless, the message is the most important thing. Fearfully and wonderfully made. What does that mean? Uh, I'm going to ask for an, an, I said this session was going to be quite interactive. So when you hear fearfully and wonderfully made, people see the word fear and they think fear, you actually tremble. When we hear the word wonderful, it's like it's got this very tone of comfort and ease and love with it. When you hear the word fear, you sort of worry that it's frightening. But I want to ask a question to the floor. Right now, if I ask, how do you feel about yourself right now as I'm speaking? How do you feel about yourself? If I ask you, how do you feel right now? I am so happy about myself. I am so happy right now. Rose is so happy because I've been created in the image of God and I know there is no one like me. I feel very happy. But if I ask you how you feel about yourself right now, what would your answer be? One or two hands, please. Can I hear somebody respond? How do you feel about yourself right this minute? Anybody? You can unmute and tell me how you feel. There's somebody called Joy. You can say, I feel I'm happy, I feel joy. Uh, from Joshua here, I feel incredible, Hi, good about myself. You feel? I feel incredible, I feel so good about myself. Oh, I love that, I feel incredible. I like the word incredible. Okay, somebody else? How do you feel about yourself right now? Just one more person, if everybody's shy. Media people, I believe there's more than two or three people there. Can you unmute and somebody tell me how you feel about yourself right now? Okay, it looks like we've got shy people in the room. Oh dear, come on guys, you can do better come on, than we're this. We're supposed to be young and energetic. And, young people have uh, energy, come on. Come on. How do you feel about yourself? Write in the chat if you don't want to say it out like, and I see even in the chat. How do you feel about yourself right now? Thanks, Joshua. We're gonna, is that your hand still raised up? Joshua, you can bring your, bring your hand down. Anybody? Is that experience? How do you feel about yourself? I feel blessed and highly favored. Hey, I feel man, like I'm I thriving. That. I'm not. I'm not just uh, blessed. I feel like I'm thriving because when I, I like the word I look thriving. At, yes, because when I think about all the wonderful ways that God is is blessing me every day, I think I'm thriving. I'm just going from level to level so yeah i'm great okay thank you so much so sister betty sister Esperance, betty and again just check in the group chat and help the people who are asking for support I'm, there. don't worry thank i'm you. on it i'm gonna continue next slide so when we see the word fearfully and wonderfully made i i see the psalm 139 you can start from the 13 we're gonna read it for you created my inmost being you knit me together in my mother's womb i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful and i know that full well so you look at you knit me together when i was young in primary school i think i i went to gamam's primary school and um, we had a, a teacher, oh, I'm trying to remember her name. She was Mrs. Latahan. Mm. Yes. She taught me how to knit. Unfortunately, I forgot. So it, when you're knitting, it, it's meticulous. You take time, you take two needles, and then you take that woolen, th woolen thread, and you are using two needles, and you put things together. You have to think about the process of what you're doing. It's really a work of art. You've got to take time. Now, God, more than knitting, as in, you know, knitting a, a, a jacket or a, a piece of, 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 of 
something to keep you warm. He knit you together. He took time to knit your nails, your eyes, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, your ears, your teeth, your tongue, your lips, everything about you from the outward part to the inward. You don't want to see your insides. If you go into the surgical room, you look at your intestines, the way they are made. You will be so amazed. If you look at the uterus where a child actually sits, you're thinking this little thing that looks like a piece of bean actually harbors a baby that comes out and turns out to be a human being like me. But God took time to knit all those parts. It is so amazing. Next slide. And so when you look at the word wonderful, you're supposed to look at how carefully the Lord did, how what time it took him. So he took time to carefully design you, your insides. He decided this is where your heart's going to be. This is where your lungs are going to be. This is where your intestines are going to be. This is where your pancreas is going to be. And this is where your kidney is going to be. This is where your ureter is going to be. Everything about you on the inside. Then he decided to give you a skin to cover your insides. And he decided this is what your fingers are going to be like. Your feet are going to be like. So now how do you feel about yourself? You should feel wonderful because Amen. somebody Amen. took time to put every piece of you together. How do you think God feels about you? That should read feels about you, not speaks about you. Sorry for the error. Feels about you. God loves you. Now, when I was young, as I gave an example of the primary school, to make that little woolen jacket, uh, woolly jacket for us to present at Last, I had to take time because I wanted it to be beautiful. I dressed my dollies with it. it I, I loved what I was doing. And when I finished, I looked at my design and I said, wow, this is beautiful. That is what God feels about you. He looked at his handiwork and he says, this is the work of my hand. This is beautiful. He Amen. took time. Amen. So fearfully means thinking carefully about what you are doing making sure there is no mistake, making sure there are no errors. So he's the potter. He got you like in a, a little piece of clay and he designs and he reshapes and he reshapes. If you see something is crooked, he, he shapes it again. He makes it even better. He makes it, if he looks at the eye, that eye does not belong to Joshua. His eyes should not be like that. Those lips are not supposed to be graces. I'm supposed, grace is supposed to be of this height of that you know, he decides what you need to be like. So everything that God makes is beautiful. First Timothy 4 verse 4 says, everything that God made is beautiful and it should not be rejected. The reason for this topic is because a lot of young people have come to me with things that they worried about themselves. They're not happy. They don't feel so good about themselves. They're not happy about how they look. They're not happy about their lives. They don't feel like living anymore. Somebody says, I feel my life is useless. It's not worth living. I don't want to live anymore. Somebody said to me, I really hate my life. Everything about my life is just a mess. Nothing works. I don't feel like living. So I needed to come and encourage somebody to understand how you were fearfully and wonderfully made. Next slide. How come we don't feel so good about ourselves? So having found out what I've explained about how God took time to create and design you, let's talk about the body image. So body image is your outward look, what you look on the outside. Now, a lot of us, and when I say us, I am including myself as a young person right now because I'm addressing the youth, okay? Uh, I'm not going to disclose my real age, but I'm in my 40s right now. But to, for the sake of today, I am very young. I, Amen. I'm 18. Amen. For the sake of today, I am like, I'm proper 18 years old. Yes. You shouldn't be for me 40, okay? Amen. Mm -hmm. So the body image, it's your outward look. Many young people focus on the outward look. Unfortunately, with the society today, with the social media, a lot of emphasis is being placed on how, what you should look like on the outside more than what you should look like on the inside. First Samuel 16, 7 says, for the Lord sees not as man sees. The Lord, man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. That means the Lord looks on your inside. He's looking at what you think about yourself on the inside. He's looking about how you treat yourself on the inside. He's not looking about what dress you've got on. He's not looking about 
you know, what your skin color looks like. He focuses on your inside, but society has been designed nowadays to make us focus on the outside that many of us as young people, if we don't look a certain way that the society is telling us to look, we feel depressed. We feel we are not beautiful enough. We feel we're not, you know, we're not worthy. We don't appreciate what we look like. Today, I want you to know you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Genesis 1.26 says this. God said, let us make mankind in what? In our image. Now, can you tell me that the image of God is ugly? Can you tell me the image of God is crooked? Can you tell me the image of God is a mess? Can you tell me the image of God, the image of God is not worth looking at? God mm. looked at what he made and he says, it is good. Amen. The Bible says everything God created in Genesis, when he finished, he says, it is good. Amen. Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. And then not only that, he gave us the authority to rule. So not only are you fearfully and wonderfully made, God gave you authority to rule over. So look at that. And then you look at yourself and you say, I am not special. I am not precious. My life is not worth living. My life is insignificant. You that God has assigned with the authority to rule over and subdue. Amen. The human body is so uniquely designed with multiple systems and work and, the, you know, and systems that all work intricately together. As I explained, your outward look, your inside look, everything must work together. But when you are focusing on the outside, you do not see the importance of what you possess on the inside. I mean, spiritually, not just biologically. When you focus on what you should look like on the inside, because Facebook says that you should look like this on the outside. Instagram says you should look like this on the outside. Society dictates you should look like this. You will forget that God has deposited things inside of you. The way I explain to people is this. Imagine the computer. A lot of us struggle to join with Zoom tonight. And Sister Betty had to tell you to email yourself the link to your computer. The computer has got a lot of data that enables it to function. I am not an IT person, but this is a bit I know about it. Now you are like this computer that God created and then he deposits data inside of you. And every day God renews and updates the data Amen. that is inside of you. Amen. So it will function so well. So Amen. there will be no error. He puts antiviruses inside of yes. you yes. every Amen. day. So you are so precious. So you are a computer with data that has been put inside of you by God. And you still call yourself not important. <laughs> Many of us fall short of appreciating the work of art that we are. We insult the potter by saying we are not perfect by not accepting this perfect image that we are. And so because of what society dictates, men and women, girls and boys, we start to change ourselves. Isaiah 64, eight says, we are like clay in the potter's hand, just like I explained earlier. Next slide. Because we do not accept the image, the work of art that we are, we begin to question whether or not we are special. And what you say on the outside becomes you. The Bible says in Proverbs 23, verse 7, I want you to really look at this slide very carefully. Proverbs 23, verse 7 says this, you are as you think. So we become our thoughts. Watch this. Our thoughts, when we think specific things, those thoughts become ideas. Those ideas turn into actions. And those actions become habits. And then those habits become behaviors. And those behaviors then become our identity. So we become exactly what. So it started with a thought. I am ugly. I am not important. I am not precious. I am weak. I am nobody. And then because that's how you think, 
you begin to act according to what you thought. And then it becomes a certain habit. That's what you say and repeat to yourself. And then it becomes a behavior. Somebody walking down with their head lowered all the time. They have no, no, no desire to do anything. They don't want to go to school. They don't want to look for a job. They behave lazily. And then their identity becomes a lazy man or a lazy woman. We compare ourselves to people. I'm still talking about body image. When we compare ourselves with people, we forget who God made us to become. And we try, we try to copy what social media, the devil, our friends, what we see is telling us to become. But fearfully and wonderfully made means you are unique in your own way. You see, most of the things we see on social media, they're fake lifestyles. It's not a reality. All these uh, yeah, yeah. It's not a reality. Not everything you see on social media is true. You see people with big designer bags and you know, nicely made faces and lips and what have yous and hair. It's not all a reality. It's quite fake. Now you are real. You are very, very real, but you want to be what you see. That is not a reality. That is a fantasy. Hallelujah. Now, when you focus on what the media tells you, to become, you forget the work of art that God made you to be. The thing can we is just that, try and keep it down? If you can't keep it down, can you just try and mute yourself, please? It is slavery to subject yourself to a lot of plastic surgery, a lot of life of drug addiction, a lot of life of, of let me show off just so I can fit in with that fantasy lifestyle. You will never believe you are fearfully and wonderfully made if that's what you follow. Next slide. Now, fearfully and wonderfully made. This is going to be my last part of this slide. I really want us to focus on this one. See, mental health is quite important. I am not dismissing all the messages we preach at church. Every message is important. But how many young people have come to me with, I hate myself. I, I wanna kill myself. Yes, I wanna kill myself. I remember in 2018, I had come from, I won't forget this day because I came from surgery, I had a surgical intervention and I had to sit at home for a while and I couldn't really talk for days. I, I was home for about a week. And then this young girl just called me. I don't know her. So she follows me on Facebook and, and then she decided that she wanted to end her life. And I couldn't talk well. I had surgery. I was really not talking well. And she called me like on messenger straight away. I didn't pick up. She called. She kept insisting. And then I picked up. And then she says, woman of God, I want to kill myself. And if I don't talk to you today, I'm going to finish with my life. I'm like, goodness me. Why do you need to put this on me? You can ring anybody else in the world. Just me. I can't even talk. I can't go out. I'm not well. So I said to this girl, where are you? And she told me where she was. I had been in the house for seven days. I couldn't drive. I couldn't really talk because the surgery was in my mouth. And I said, God, give me strength. Because this person has just put a burden on me. So if they kill myself, I'm going to feel responsible now. I asked for strength. And then I, I took my car and I drove to where she was because she sent me an address. She was a mess. The reason she wanted to kill herself is because a guy left her. A boyfriend left her. She wanted to end her life because a boyfriend dumped her. Like there was nothing else she had to live for because of this boy who did not even promise a marriage. My mouth received strength to talk that day. I don't know how I did it. I forgot the pain I was in, but I began to talk some senses into this girl. Just to let you know the long story short, she didn't kill herself. She's still very well alive until today. So mental health is something really important with young people. Uh, it is something that a lot of young people are struggling with. But we, as adults, we may look at some things and we think this is, this is nothing. 
Why do they wish to kill themselves for this? But because the devil tries to use young people's minds against them, it's important to talk about mental health. It is the mm -hmm. one big thing that young people struggle with. Why? Mm -hmm. It's because they face so many pressures due to so many changes in life. From the moment you turn 13, 14, there's a lot of changes happening in your body biologically. And then you are growing up, your circle of friends are changing. You begin to want to please people because peer pressure is playing a role. If you are growing up, maybe financial responsibilities begin to change in your family. You're being expected to start to work to bring in money. Responsibilities at university is changing. The same, it's a different kind of material you are studying at university than you study secondary school. There's a lot of new pressures. Growth is putting pressure. And so people begin to feel depressed. Why do people feel that they're not fearfully and wonderfully made? Peer pressure, the feeling of inadequacy. I'm not enough. I can't do this. I am unloved like this young girl because her boyfriend dumped her. She felt the whole world hated her. She was not lovable according to her. She was not lovable because people feel incapable. If you try this job, it doesn't work. You try math, it doesn't work. You try history, it doesn't work. You feel like uh, your life ends there. You feel limited. A lot of young people feel limited. They feel limited. Mm -hmm. So they think because I'm limited here, therefore I am not, I cannot be lovable. Therefore God does not love me. Therefore God doesn't care about me. Therefore I am not fearfully and wonderfully made. There's a lot of mm -hmm. rejection happening in young people. A lot of rejection, even between mm -hmm. boys themselves and between girls. Boys reject each other. If you're not cool, they reject you. They call you a nerd. If you don't dress a certain way, you don't wear designer clothes or designer shoes, they, they reject you. There's a lot of ignorance happening. A, a young person told me, I feel ignored in my family. Nobody listens to what I have to say. Nobody cares about what I say. That young people don't feel they have a place. I want to tell you in Christ Love Ministries, you have a place. That is why Bishop has allowed this platform. You have a place. Oh, you matter. You are not being ignored. You matter so much that Bishop wants us all as young people to be in the Lord so our lives will change. I want to quickly give us signs of depression, which isn't on this slide very quickly. How do you know that you feel depressed? It's when you have no desire to do anything. Nothing. You wake up in the morning, you don't care about life. You don't care about brushing your teeth. You don't care about shaving. You don't care about brushing your hair. Mm -hmm. That is a sign of depression. When you're in constant panic, everything makes you panic. You see a rat, you panic. You see an ant, you panic. You see a mosquito, you panic. You're in, con in constant panic mode. Paranoia. If uh, uh, you feel scared all the time, everything scares you. Or you feel tired all the time. That is a sign of depression. We're going to pray against that. Or if you feel you cannot sleep at all. I'm, at, I'm, I'm very conscious I've got five minutes left. Um, you feel insomnia. You cannot sleep. Uh, loss of appetite. You don't know how to eat. You don't feel like eating anymore. You know, we've got a prophet in the Bible called Jeremiah. who's called... Um, you know, the weeping prophet, all he did was cry from Jeremiah 1. God kept telling him, look, 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 I've got you, Jeremiah, I have you. Jeremiah says, I cursed the day I was born. Why was I even born? Why did God even allow me to come into this world? I am not fearfully, wonderfully made. God says, look, I've got you. I'm going to lead you. I'm going to guide you. I'm, I'm with you. you. You keep going. You keep reading the book of Jeremiah. Every chapter, God has a verse where he's encouraging Jeremiah. He gets to Jeremiah um. 29 verse 11, God says to Jeremiah, look, stop whining, stop, stop, stop being depressed. I got you, Jeremiah. I've, I've got good plans for you of prosperity to give you an expected end. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. You are going to prosper, Jeremiah. Stop all your crying. And then we get to Jeremiah 33. He is still not satisfied. God says, okay, okay, Jeremiah, listen here. Call on me and I will answer you. Anything you need, Jeremiah, I've got your back. Amen. If you call on me, I will answer you. I will really, really answer you. You just need to call on me. Next slide to end this. I want to give you my own example. Mental health. 
God made you. He made you, including your mind, including your thoughts. See, when you give your heart to God, when you give your heart and mind to God, he controls everything about you so you feel safe. Many young people, they are depressed because they are yet to let God take control of their minds. God not only created you, he says, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. So when he was designing the world, he already had you in mind. Before the world began, you were on his mind. And every tear you cried was precious in his eyes. eyes. Because, because of, of his great love, love, he gave his only son. And everything was done so you would come. Come to the Father, though your gift is small, broken hearts, broken lives, he will take them all. By the power of the world, the power of his blood, and everything was done so you would come. He not only created you in his image and likeness, he knew exactly which family, which country, which city he needed you to be in, which time he wanted you to be born in. At 7, at 17, 26, he says, he knew where he, he marked an appointed time and place and history for you to be in. That is God who fearfully and wonderfully made to you. Next slide. How do I live like I am fearfully and wonderfully made? Accept who you are. We're gonna have to fix a lot of typos in this slide. Accept who you are and how God created you. Short, tall, slim, Dark-skinned, light-skinned, um, I don't know what your hair is like, smooth hair, hard hair. It doesn't matter, big nose, small nose, big eyes, small eyes, Chinese eyes, Indian, whatever eyes, it is you. Accept how God created you. That is you. That is the design God made when he made you. My own example, yes, my own example. When I was young, I can't talk without giving you tangible, real human being examples. When I was young, I did not like myself. I didn't like my body. All, all the young people around me, or people my age, I felt they were prettier than me. I didn't think I was beautiful. Everybody else thought I was pretty. I didn't. I really did not think I was beautiful. I thought the features of my body were too big. I thought I was too fat. I was too chubby. I was too dark. I wanted to look like my friends. I really thank God that I did not live in the social media time. Boy, oh boy. If it was in the Facebook and Instagram time, I don't know what would have become of me. I thank Jesus it was not <laughs> social media time. I did everything I could. We lived in Sour Street in Vinduk North, and we had a, a lemon tree, and we had... um an orange tree. So I would go at the backyard and pluck out an, a lemon. I chewed lemons like it was mangoes because I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be skinny. I chewed those lemons, never mind the acid. I wanted to be skinny. I hated my body shape. I did not like how I was made. My friends were flat chested. I was big chested. I went to my mom who's connected today. I said, mommy, you need to take me to a plastic surgeon. I need to have a boob job. I need to have a breast reduction. I was really, I did not like my body, but I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the youth leaders because they kept preaching about loving yourself, about how God loved us. You need to accept God's love and accept how God sees you. When I came to Europe, 
I realized that people are paying money to have breast augmentation. So I was fine. Mm -mm. I was absolutely fine. Nobody was going to go under the knife. My body was just perfect the way it was. But it took a lot of work with the Holy Spirit for me to accept my body how it was. So the word fearfully and wonderfully made in Hebrew means pala, which means you are, you are separate, you are distinguished, you are unique. You are God's masterpiece. How do I do to accept that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made? Understand that your life is sacred. You are not a carbon copy. There is nobody like you. Respect God's design, which you are, and honor it. The, the last slide. Thank you. Any questions? God bless you for following carefully. If you have a question, put up your hand or unmute and ask a question. Uh, if you did not like the message, you can also unmute and tell me what part of the message you did not like. And I'll just quickly correct it because I'm right here right now. I have a comment to make. Yes, please. Very um, welcome. I think we live in a world where we expect to be spoon fed everything, uh, including uh, the things that are good for us, which are the word of God and the words are um the encouragement and the love that God gives us is there for the taking, is there for the consumption. But young yeah. people, they want they want someone to go like a baby and go to And even mm -hmm. after that's happened, they still don't believe it. The mm -hmm. key in everything that you're doing with God is believing it. You need Amen. to know that you know that you know that you know mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. are fearfully and wonderfully made it yes. is a fact of your life it is mm. a fact that god is god it is a mm. fact that god is mighty it is a fact that the word of god is is the word of almighty god the creator of the heavens and the earth and he mm. said he took his time to create you. You are not a mistake. He mm -hmm. says in his word, which is him, he himself, he is saying that he has good plans for you, plans to prosper you. The work that you need to do, whether you're young or old, is to believe. Every day when you pray, ask God to help you to believe him. Yes. To believe him. And when the Bible says, trust in the Lord in all your ways and lean not on your own understanding. I have started to make a new prayer. I've asked God to suspend my understanding because I want to start understanding the way he understands, the yes. way he wants me to understand. So as a young person, I understand you're going through, you may go through mental health issues. You may go through breakup. So do we. Everybody mm. does. From the age mm. of zero it has been proven that children as young as two years old, they also suffer from depression. It is not the purview. It is not the private property of young people. It is a, a problem that is universal, that is ageless. Everybody suffers from mental health issues. The key is to believe that you are blessed, to believe that your life has a purpose. And the word of God, it tells us that your life has purpose. I want you to, I want to encourage all of us to spend time believing God. Believe him. Believe that you are blessed. That's why I've changed my language. My language is when someone tells me, how are you? I don't say I'm blessed. I say I'm thriving. Yes. Yeah, man. I'm thriving because it is a continuous process. God is still busy blessing me. It's not just something that happened once yesterday or today. It's going to happen again tomorrow because his mercies are renewed every morning. So I want you to be encouraged. If you're really struggling, go and bother your pastor. If you don't know how to pray, go and ask your pastor for help. Ask your elders, mm -hmm. ask your youth leaders. If you, yeah. if you feel, I think sometimes the problem is we don't trust our pastors. And that's another topic. But I want to encourage you to trust your yeah. pastors. And yeah. so what if your pastor preaches about you on the altar? If you're already thinking of killing yourself yesterday, so what if someone preaches about you, but you've changed your life for the better? 
You already had zero. What do you have to lose? You need to live hopefully. Believe God. That Amen. He loves you. He, he took his time. The creator of the heavens and the earth, he took his time to create you. And after he was finished creating you, he said he was very good. With everything else that God created, he said he was good. But when he came to mankind, he said he was very good. Very good. Because you are a very good creation. Yes. I just want to encourage us to start believing God. Trust yeah. him. Yeah. Trust yeah. God. Love God. Believe God. Trust God. Those yeah. three things, you, it will yeah. help you and it will bless you. Thank you, Sister Betty. Can you put up the last slide before thank you? We are waiting. Put up your hand if you need to um, make a comment or just unmute. Please feel free. Kavangu, Kavangu people, Moronga, Klaus, I see you made a comment there. Media people, just unmute. Can we just put up the last slide? Hang on. Please unmute yourself. We're going to pray, but I need you to just uh, ask questions. Feel, feel free. This is your platform. This is your time as young people. Okay. Now, uh, understand your life is sacred. The word fearfully and wonderfully made means that you are special. You are set aside. You are so unique. There is no carbon copy like you. It is important for you to be rooted in the word. I I don't know if I missed the slide. Can you go one up, one slide up, uh, Sister Betty, where God is encouraging somebody in Joshua 1 that he's encouraging you. You are not to panic. You are. I may have edited yeah. it out. <laughs> you did edit it out. That was my end uh, uh, encouragement uh, slide. It's okay. I'm just going to read it. Joshua 1. If you go to the book of Joshua 1, you read it from verse 7 to 9. The Lord God is telling you to take courage. He wants you to be encouraged. He wants you to not be dismayed. He wants you to not be frightened. He wants you to not be fearful. He says, take courage. I have you. I'm going to be with you until the end of the day. So when you feel depressed, look up that word. Joshua 1 verse 7 to verse 9. Encourage yourself in the word. Use the word of God as medication. When Amen. you feel Amen. like you are not important, don't run to Facebook. Don't run to Instagram. Run to the Bible and use the word of God as your everyday medication. Like you eat your breakfast every day. May the word of God be your medication. You read it as though you are swallowing tablets and then you pray. Where are we with our program? One more question. Nobody's answering, asking any question. I don't see any comments in the chat. I'll give you one minute and then we're going to move to our prayer. Uh, may you please share the slides with us on WhatsApp. Yes, the, the slides will be shared to the WhatsApp group, the youth WhatsApp group after the session. So the verses are there and even the part where Sister Betty edited out will be there. <laughs> Is there anybody got a question? Anybody got a question? Have you, have you, has this word helped you? Do you feel that you've received an answer to a nagging question that you had before? Have you got a comment to make perhaps before we move on to prayer? Okay. Next on the program, please, Sister Betty. Uh, we have Sister Grace. Okay, so I'm going to let Sister Grace uh, quickly come on. I want her to lead us for prayers in to lead us in prayers for ten minutes. After Sister Grace, it will be Sister Betty will lead us in prayers. Since you don't have any questions, I can't. I have to move on. But if you have questions, you can put them in the chat. Maybe it's an afterthought. Or you can put it in our group chat, in the youth WhatsApp group chat. Um, 
please, I want you to be pro proactive and interactive. This is your platform. Things that are making you struggle, things that make you feel you are not special, things that make you feel you are not important, things that make maybe somebody has been telling you you need to look a certain way. That's why you think you need to look a certain way to feel like God loves you. Today we have told you God is enough for you. The image Amen. of God is enough for you. Amen. You don't need anybody Amen. changing it to turn into a Barbie doll or into Amen. a Ken doll. Amen. You are enough just the way God designed you. Amen. And every Amen. part of your body is important as it is. Amen. Even somebody Amen. who's deaf, it's important that they are deaf the way God designed them because then their eyes is sharper. They will be able to have a more acuity in the way they see because they cannot hear. So they need to see better. Their vision will be sharper. It's important. Somebody who does not see, you may feel, I am blind. May God heal you. But if God has not healed you, it's not the end of the world. Your acuity, the way you hear will be sharper than somebody who's got eyes because you depend on your ears to survive. Amen. So that becomes something that is so uniquely special to you. So nothing God makes is ugly. Everything God makes is good. And a human being, God says, it was very good. Amen. Sister Grace, are you there? Yes, Pastor. Okay, can you lead us into prayers, please? Amen. Good Amen. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, my name is Grace Hendricks, and I'm speaking from the Duke Branch, Christ Love Ministries International. Okay, just uh, as Pastor Rose has said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Yeah. He also has a purpose for us as young people, and there's a reason that we have been saved by God. There's a reason that we have been sanctified. Amen. Amen. So um, according to the slides, Deuteronomy 28 verse 9 says, the Lord will establish us a holy people to himself in order for us as young people to turn other fellow youth to him. God Amen. saved us that we may help save others and bring others to God. Amen. And he definitely wants us to be holy upright and righteous in our hearts at all times amen that we may all sanctify ourselves and also stand in the gap and pray for other young people and introduce jesus and christ to introduce christ to them also amen so amen. i just want us to say this prayer point amen. lord help us as youth to keep your commandments amen. to cling unto your promises and to do your will which thou has set out for us let god's will take place in our lives and let our will die let amen. god lead amen can we can unmute we ourselves pray? please and pray this prayer pray. point now in the name of jesus father we come to you this evening as young people we want to you oh god to help us as young people to keep your commandments to cling on to you and your promises and to do your will oh god may the will of god be done in our lives we oh god of us as human beings die, oh God. May you will, O Lord, be accepted in the name of Jesus. We pray, O God, for every young connected, every young person connected today. Help us, O God, to keep your commandments. Somebody pray, unmute yourself and pray. Unmute yourself and pray. Let your prayers rise up to the Lord right now. Unmute yourself and pray. Let us keep our command in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And it moves on to verse 10 that says, sorry. It says that all the people of the world 
shall know that you are called by my name that the Lord has called you by his name and they will be afraid of you. But what I understood is this does not only refer to human beings or people in our lives, but it may also refer to powers of darkness, dark forces in the air that we want to, to ruin your life because you have now made your choice as a young person to keep the commandments of the Lord, to do his will. So Satan will now see that, okay, you are a threat to his kingdom and he can only try to attack those that are a threat to his kingdom. He will try to tempt us. He will try to distract us with the pleasures of this world. So we just want to come against all the plans of Satan, all the, all the schemes, his wicked agencies that he might want to do in our lives to distract us from doing God's will. Can we just pray upon that? The name of Jesus. The plans of Satan the in the name of Jesus, power the forces of God at university, at school, at the church, at the church, at their work, at friends. In the name of Jesus, we come against the power of 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 the power the power of 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 the the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, but raise up your voice and pray with confidence. Amen. 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 Oh, shake it in. And uh, as we have made up our minds to follow Christ, to do his will, it's important for us as young people to always cleanse ourselves, to repent, turn away from our sins. For according to Amen. Psalm 119 verse 9, it says, how can a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed according to your word. It's very important that we need to cleanse ourselves, as I've said before, and we can only do that by the word of God, by taking heed unto his word in the name of Jesus. Can we just pray upon that? in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Can somebody Amen. clap for the Lord where you are? Just clap for the Lord. Clap for the Lord. Clap for the Lord and give him all the glory. Clap for the Lord and give him all the glory. Clap for the Lord and give him all the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Abba Father. Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father, Abba Father, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lord, we need you, Lord, we need you lord we need you lord we need you lord we need you lord we need you hallelujah 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 I want us to start by saying thank you to God. Say thank you to God because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Let's thank him for taking the time to create us. Let's thank him for putting in Bishop's heart this worry about you, worry about me, the weight about the youth in her heart. It's because God cares. Thank God for worrying about you. He Amen. told you in his, he says in his word, do not worry about tomorrow. Mm. But God, it's because God himself is worrying about you. Before you were born, Jesus had already died. Before your parents met, before they were married, before they had you, before you were a twinkle in their eye, the victory of the blood of Jesus already existed. So the provision for your life, for your victory, for your prosperity was already in place. So thank God, because I would, I'd like to say that you were born into an inheritance of victory through the blood of Jesus. You were born into an inheritance of victory through the name of Jesus. So thank God for this inheritance, because what you are going through what you are struggling with is not your portion because God already laid the foundations for how your life should be. Jeremiah already had, the Bible was already written. Everything that God wanted you to experience, wanted you to know, the blessings was already in place before you were born. So you were already born into victory. So thank God for the foundation that he led for, he set for you already. Thank him for what he laid on the bishop's heart for your life. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Let's unmute yourself and pray. Unmute yourself and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Bless you and I worship you for your Lord. I thank you for worrying about us. Oh, Father, thank you. Father, thank you, Father thank you because you are God. Father, thank you because you are good. I thank you because you are wonderful. I thank you because you are indeed. Creating us fearfully and our wonderfully. Father, our thank God you for providing. telling us today Father, that we you are your masterpiece. We are Father, before I in experience your hand, as people, in my life, Father, you'd already given me victory. The blood of Rekara, Jesus was already in place, Father God, for me to use in the name of Jesus 
this before I was born. The name of Jesus already existed for me to utilize before I even came into existence. So, Father, I thank you for allowing me to be birthed into an inheritance of victory. Thank you for enabling me to be born into an inheritance of breakthrough. Father, breakthrough was already my portion. Jesus, you had already come the sea. You'd already come the the storm before I was born. So the power was already there. Father, I was born into the pressures of life. I was born into excellence. I was born, Father God, into the inheritance of victory, Father God. So whatever situation I'm going through is not my portion. It is not my portion. It is not my portion. Failure is not my portion. Depression is not my portion. Rejection is not my portion. Heartbreak is not my portion. The portion of this young people. In the name of Jesus, I glorify you, Father God. Thank you, Father. I glorify you for this victory. I glorify you for this power. I glorify you for the way that you made me. To make that brother, to knit them together. In the name of Jesus, you made me fearfully and wonderfully. Hallelujah. Shaka sinta nikla rabari. Father, thank you. Father, mm. thank you. I want us to pray. I want you to tell God you believe him. Say, Father, I believe it when you say that I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. I Amen. believe it when you say that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. That you took your time to create me. You took mm. your time to choose the family where I was born into. You took mm. your time to choose the time that I was born into. Yes. You even took the time to put the issues that I'm experiencing. Because mm. Father God, Anna, you made Anna barren. Because you needed to be glorified when you blessed her with Samuel. So mm-hmm. thank God because even the issues in your life are a reason for him to be glorified. Hallelujah. Say you, you believe him. You believe him. You believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. You believe everything. You, you believe that God has the power, that he has given you the power. You have the power in the blood of Jesus. You have the power in the name of Jesus. That you, you believe him and you trust him. I want you to pray. Pray with all your heart. Pray with understanding. Pour out your heart to God. If you are next to somebody and you don't want them to hear what you're saying, I want you to move away. Go and face a wall and start to pray. I want you to speak to God. He is your father. He is a good father. He is a good father. Say you believe he is a good father. Let's mm. pray in the name of Jesus. Father, name Somebody, of you can pray, you can pray, pray. So and unmute pray. yourself and unmute pray. Unmute and let's pray together. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I, trust I trust you when you tell me to come to you when I'm heavy laden and that you will give me rest. I trust you, Father God, when you say, Father, you are in control. I trust you when you say in your word, Father, that I was fearfully and wonderful. I believe in your word. I believe in the power of believe in the power of believe in your word. God. I believe in the power that of the says blood we are of Jesus. precious in your I believe in the we believe in your word of God that declares that every young person connected I believe today you. is precious I believe you that in Jesus I'm set, in your eyes. Eyes. I believe that I'm set free I believe that I'm set free I believe Father God that whatever the obstacles I may encounter even the obstacles that, that are set happening free. now I believe that because you love me Father you will set straight every crooked young people. I believe that because you love me Father God God. See Every problems they are facing. They are facing now Whatever as a depression. That is Let them see that you are a stepping stone, Father God, to, God to the next level of blessing. You. To the next I believe, level Father of God, that I have to the, the next power level of anointing. The, May the enemy not to calm deceive every them. Storm. To be depressed I believe you, Father God, that every mountain that is standing in front of me, I can tell it to throw itself into the waters and it will obey. I believe it when you say I have the power to walk over serpents. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Father, I trust you. 
Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, God, Ramashetere, I believe that you have good plans for me. I believe, Father God, that you have good plans for me. That the future that you are set for me is an amazing future. It's a prosperous future. It's a life-changing future. In the name of Jesus, I believe you, Father God, that you are my God, my provider. Everything that I need as a young person, that you have already provided. 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 May everything they're facing now, Father, be seen as a positive attribute to their lives. In the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Au nom de Jésus. Merci Seigneur. Merci Seigneur. Merci pour ta, pour ta grâce. Merci, Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. You for your grace. We're going to do one final opening prayer. Mm. We're going to pray for every single youth branch of Christ Love Ministries. Mm -hmm. For God to cause you to increase. Amen. For God to cause a change to happen in your church, in your community, <clears throat> wherever you are, for God to start to transform your cities because of you. In, your, in your family, may God start to transform your family because of you. Because of your faith, may change start to happen. May healing start to happen because of your presence where you are. Ask God to make a difference in you, to make a difference because of you, your church. Ask God to start to transform the youth in your city because of you. Ask God to make you infectious, to make your faith infectious, to make your blessings infectious, to make your healings infectious, to make your breakthroughs infectious. Let's pray in the name of Jesus for the youth, every single branch of Christ Love Ministry International, wherever it is in the whole wide world. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. In the name oh, of Father, Jesus, we pray for I every branch of Christ Love Lord, Ministry, every branch of Father, Christ Love Ministry International Youth. We pray, oh God, for your fire to Father, be in the name of Jesus. every young person, I pray that you will set in every the church, on in fire. every Every branch, oh Set God, because the these of, young these young people exist in the, the churches, because they exist in their Set families, the because they exist in those cities, Set because the they exist in those fire. communities, Father, may the they be used as a Jesus. point of contact, oh God, for the them, fire Father to be God, ignited in Jesus. those cities, they in those families, in those branches, because they are alive in this era, they are created in the name of Jesus, because of the praise of God when the fire be ignited. The neighborhood where those may churches are. Father, may that fire be ignited. May that fire be burning. May fire be everything that is possible. Father, every young person in Christ Love Ministries International. Every young person in Christ Love Ministries International. Father, may you be of the city of Namibia. May fire be ignited in Nigeria. Wherever the young fire, wherever they find even in Namibia. Father, may that fire burn. May that fire burn in their homes. May that fire burn in the breeze. May that fire burn and breathe in May that fire burn and bring open the doors. May that fire burn and bring blessings. May that fire burn in the name of Jesus and change life. May that fire burn and bring transform families. May that fire burn in the name of Jesus and transform churches. May that fire burn. Burn, 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 bur
but they may be they may be accepted Father may we in the day and the first will come but we thank God for the youth of the church in the name of Jesus may we start to see change because of them may we start to see Father open heavens may we start to experience open heavens because of them in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the families because they exist in the name of Jesus ah listen listen the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. When Hallelujah. we utter the name of Jesus, mm-hmm. the name of Jesus is associated with victory. The name of Jesus is associated with power. Yes. I want you to start yes. to pray and say, Not in my name. When ha, people say your mind. name, may your name not be a may, speak, may your name not bring to mind something negative. May your ne name karabarebo. not bring to mind something that is worth rejecting. Say not in my name, not, not in, in this name. image, not in this image and resemblance of God. Say Amen. not in my body, not in my name. Reject everything that people say in your name. Oh, this child negative. will be there. Say, reject everything negative. Say, not in my name. This name is blessed. This life is blessed. In the name of Jesus, start to pray. Reject everything negative. In the name of Jesus, I reject. I reject everything negative that has been said in my name. Everything negative that has been said in the name of Jesus. We declare it Father, every young person that is part of this ministry, not in the name, not in the name, not failure, not in the name. Father, in the name of Jesus, every closed door, not in the name, in the name of Jesus, I reject everything negative that has been declared in the name of any young person. I reject in the name of Jesus, not in my name, 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 rejection, not in my name, not in my name, in the name of Jesus, but a success in my portion, success is my portion, breakthrough is my portion, thriving is my portion, going forward is my portion, healing is my portion, in the name of Jesus, multiplication is my portion, Love is my portion. Love is my portion. Power is my portion. Healing is my portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the children of Father, Father, success will happen. I speak success over the name of the children of Christ's love ministries. The youth of Christ's love ministries. We speak breakthrough. We speak success. We speak power. We speak Joy, we speak love, we marriage, hallelujah. Just the final one, final one, hallelujah. I want you to start speaking good things over your life. I want you Amen. To declare in the name over the children of the youth of Christ Love Ministries, I speak open heavens. I declare Amen. marriage, good marriages, happy Amen. marriages, excellent Amen. careers, pre- good careers, excellent Amen. businesses, profitable Amen. businesses, trustworthy Amen. people. Come on, guys, start to speak good things over yourself. Start I decree and declare as your word In the declare, name of Jesus. Father, declare, I decree and I declare open that heaven. We decree open open heaven. heavens. Open heavens. Every open daughter, heavens. Every young open man, heavens. Every young over Christ woman, Love Ministries of International Youth. Wherever they may be. In Nigeria. In Namibia. 
in Zimbabwe, worldwide, in the name of Jesus. Father, we speak over an open heaven. Father, I speak success. I speak breakthrough. Father, I speak happiness. There are no obstacles. I speak peace of mind that surpasses all understanding. I speak, oh, Father God, I speak good plan. The good plan, Father God, that you have for each and every one of them. Maybe their portion, maybe their experience. I speak transformation in the name of Jesus. I speak transformation in the name of Jesus. I speak good careers. Father, every single person that is applied for jobs, Father, I speak employment. I speak employment. I speak employment. I speak businesses in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. In the name of Jesus. Holiness. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They will not give it to men and men. Oh no, we send the Jesus. Situation. Merci, Lord, Seigneur. Thank you for all Merci, this. Seigneur. For the young Merci, people of Seigneur. Christ's ministry. Merci Let pour them be an example in the community of Namibia, the Rababa of Nigeria, wherever the ministry internationally is found to you, Lord. Open heavens be in the name you, Lord. of Jesus. Thank you for Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. We will just pray for two prayer points at the end of today. Just pray for your mind. And then we're going to pray for our surroundings. Amen. I want us to pray for our minds. I said what you think you become. It's very important. So what I started to do as a young person, I started to pray about my mind. I prayed for God to change how I thought Amen. because I quickly realized I felt a certain way about my body because of what I was thinking it's not because of how I look like once my yeah. thoughts my thinking changed I became more positive I'm the most positive person you'll ever find right now I am I, nothing phases me I will be sad for two seconds and I'll be happy again because I prayed over my mind Amen. i prayed for sadness to leave me Amen. i prayed for negative thoughts to leave me Amen. i prayed for dark thoughts to leave me i prayed Amen. that when i was a young person people mm. meet me they say rose do you ever get upset i don't get upset for too long because me i prayed for joy yes i prayed for positive thinking yes. i wake up in the morning regardless of what is facing me i smile i pray and i say god i'm gonna smile today and that's yes. how my day goes Amen. you need to pray yourself into smiling you need amen. to pray yourself into joy begin to amen. pray for your mind that god will change how you see things you will amen. no longer see negatively begin amen. to pray over your mind pray 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 father begin in the name of jesus the hand of the potter. hallelujah see, see him fixing father, you father i pray see him making over you like a mind. diamond see him fixing pray you over my see mind father of in the potter. name of jesus pray over your mind transform your the way mind will no longer be negative father your transform the way that i think your mind will no longer be way that i think your mind will in the name anymore. of Jesus, every no negative way of thinking, Father, I, I remove it in the name of Jesus. Father, I purge myself of every negative way of thinking, every negative way of reasoning. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, no vicious, my mind, Father, in the name of Jesus. Your mind, you are not poor, you are not unholy, you are a woman of God, my mind, you are a man of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, change the way that I think. May I think positively. All negative ways of thinking, Father God, may it be purged from me. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for our surroundings. In the world, they are celebrating gay pride. Everywhere in the world. Our children are subjected to gay pride. In our surrounding, there are negative forces. Because we are in that vicinity, we are exposed to them. But they will not 
affect us in the name of Jesus. In the name of you Jesus. need to pray that even if my surrounding is surrounded by 1,000 gay people, I will not have the spirit of homosexuality enter me, nor my children, nor my home. Amen. Pray oh, no de Jesus. Even if your kids are, are, you are young, you are here, you are maybe 30, 32, you've got a child. Even if they go to school, they're celebrating gay pride. Your kids will not have that negative spirit enter them. You cancel Amen. the spirit that is negative in your surrounding. Begin to cancel Amen. any negative spirit of your surrounding. They will not affect you. Pray, pray, Amen. pray. Amen. You oh, are the Jesus. fire. You are like oh, a wall of fire. Jesus. You are like oh, a ball of fire Jesus. walking around. Oh, pray for Jesus. yourself. Father, oh, in the Lord name Jesus. of Jesus, we not cancel out it. any not negative it. forces not around it. us but all over the world. They're celebrating oh, things that are negative. Oh, no, we will not be affected by those negative forces. Even we are surrounded by people who are behaving in a different way that God you intended for us. We will not be affected that way. In the name of Jesus, we will not be that way Every negative force, every negative force in the name of Jesus, in the name of surrounding Father God, in the name of Jesus. We just want to cover all our prayer with the blood of Jesus. Don't Amen. forget to Amen. call the bishop. She is far, but she's connected here. She's Amen. in America, but her heart is here. We want to pray for God to bless our bishop. We want to pray for God to bless all the branches of Christ love. And pray for God to bless you that connected today. Amen. May God bless you. Mm. You are here. May Amen. God bless you. Amen. Yes, Amen. For God to bless you. Amen. Pray for God Amen. to bless you. He says he will serve me and I will bless you. I will bless Amen. your water. I will bless mm. you and I will Amen. not allow any pestilence to come to your doorstep. Amen. It is your portion for connecting today. Yes, Begin yes, to see Lord. this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Bless Bishop. Bless every church yes, and bless yourself. Let's pray. Amen. Come on, lift up your voice and pray. Thank you for this. Thank you for the way that you have told us today. Thank you for the way that you have opened our minds. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the life of Bishop. Thank you for the churches, every single branch. Thank you for the church. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for blessing. The desire for the youth to be Lord, I bless you for every pastor of Christ Love Ministries. Lord, I allow the young people to connect today to every pastor of Christ Love Ministries of every branch. Bless the youth leaders who be tomorrow's pastors of this church. Bless every young people who connect you today who be tomorrow's pastors. Lord, I bless you for tomorrow's doctors who be tomorrow's doctors. Lord, I bless you for tomorrow's doctors. Amen. Are we are we able to see any faces before we go? Uh, <laughs> you say no. Uh, <laughs> next time. Uh, 
What is wrong with your faces? You need to Let reveal your, your natural reveal beauty. Reveal your identity. What is your wrong with your face? You are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are in bed. Are actually under the blanket. Ah, listen to under me. the blanket. Oh, hold on. It's closed. Oh, under the blanket, mommy. Hey. What happened in Namibia? What touch me oh. is it in America? Oh, it, it, yeah, I'm very sure. in the blankets. Mommy, please. In Namibia, is it cold? I am sweating. It's very hey. hot in it's very hot in London right now. Our mommy, our mommy, our mommy from Chimep, <laughs> Namibia. Our yeah. bishop. Who bishop. Is we are Who finished. Is Last word. <laughs> Who is speaking from Chimep? Pastor Vicky Timotheus from Tumep, Namibia. How are you? Oh, God bless Vicky. you. God bless you. We are doing well. It's a bit chilly here. Yeah. Oh. Are you <laughs> all in the church? No, we are not in the church. We are busy doing putting the bag glass on the windows. We are not in the oh. church. We are here together on Zoom. Amen. Amen. Thank yes. you. God well bless done to you. all of you for connecting on Zoom. Bishop, any last word before we go away, please? <laughs> oh, so you Amen. can't do it now. No, I just Amen. want to say that was a powerful meeting. Really, I, I appreciate these meetings and I appreciate the prayers and I appreciate your faithfulness. And may Amen. the Lord bless you for that. Amen. May the Lord look out for you and for your generation, for your family, Hallelujah. as Hallelujah. you are looking out for the family of God. Amen. 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 It's Amen. not Amen. that we are paying you or we are giving you anything, but the Amen. commitment is, is beautiful, it's right, it's powerful, Amen. and it's encouraging. Amen. And wow, what, what, what prayers, my goodness. Amen. You know, the, 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 the inspiration is there. The love is there. Thank you for praying for me, oh people. <laughs> now she has gone. We have thrown her away. No, for me, never. We will for never you. throw you away, oh never. <laughs> never. And I bless those who are praying for me. I need the prayers. I need the prayers. And I need the prayers. Amen. And I think, like you have said, my heart is connected yes. to this ministry. Mm. Till I die, I will always pray for all of you. Amen. 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 If you stop prayers. praying, I will follow you myself and ask for my prayer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will continue to pray. You Amen. are blessed. Amen. And all Amen. of you that Amen. are connected, thank you for your obedience. Amen. We appreciate the obedience and we pray that the Lord will continue to bless everyone. Amen. Let me make sure that I speak to Pastor Ike that this broadcast goes uh, into the church. We will see how the churches can receive this broadcast. It is needed. Amen. Is needed. Thank Amen. you so much. We are okay. for encouraging us. The Lord will encourage you. Amen. And your family as you encourage the family of God. Amen. And I'm Amen. sure that those prayers will be answered. Amen. Our young ones, you heard them in mm. our environment. The youth shall transform the environment. Amen. The youth shall Amen. not be sucked in by the negativities in the environment, but the Amen. youth shall bring positive changes Amen. in the environment. Amen. Amen. In, the Amen. Name of Jesus. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you mommy. Before we hang up, bless you. Sister Betty, before you give back to bishop anything you want to say then um, so our final session with you guys will be next week for um i hope you can make it it will be our very very last session with you um unfortunately we are not able to commit more time to um to ministering with you guys because you know i it's such a joy serving god mm -hmm. i just want to say that if you are a young person and there is nothing that will bring you more satisfaction than serving God. Everything else you do, you will still feel hunger. You will still want something. But when it involves God, you will just feel full. 
you feel full even when you're satisfied that like i mean the word full you feel full nothing mm -hmm. uh, no space will be left for any other need so i want to encourage you it's it has been my pleasure my absolute pleasure my absolute honor to share to come and be in your midst to be in your presence so next week will be our final session with you guys it's just gonna uh, be so can I come in there? <laughs> you did not tell me that so I mean, we, we agreed we until we like agreed at the end of june <laughs> No, okay, we'll talk to I didn't Bishop. understand that you are saying that it's final. Mommy, um, can no. We, can we make it like every two months? I know you are busy people. Okay, we will do next week and we talk later, mommy. We plan. All right. We come back to the As group long as later. it's not, we will we will do so. Oh gosh. Okay, we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah. But next week we have a session. Why did you do what they call Ojoro in Nigeria? You did not <laughs> what is Ojoro? Me. We oh, told you, mommy, you are in America uh, uh, now. You are eating American food. You forgot us. <laughs> Never mind. You. Okay, we will talk about it with the bishop and we'll agree the way no, forward. No, no, no. I didn't yes. get that. <laughs> we'll okay, agree. We, will, we, will, we have a session next week. Do we, Betty? We right. Next week we is need, pure actually, prayer. Pure the prayer. People, the people that are on, online now, do mm. you agree with them? Yes or no? <laughs> they won't say that. Everybody online, please, you can unmute. Do you agree with this bye-bye story they are trying to give us? No, no. we don't agree with them. Uh, no, hey. uh, no we, we are not in agreement. We are not in agreement. Oh, no. How can you no. just throw us listen, off like that? Listen, yes, man. you are trying not to no. We are going to miss you. Uh, hey. Hey. No, 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 no. You no, are no. giving us hope here and then you just want to leave us like guys. That. No. You yeah. you guys have ideas too. You, you can be volunteering to do stuff. Okay, we'll start involving you. Talk. We'll next start time. involving you in yeah. every session. You can't just leave us yes, to do next everything. Next time we are going to talk. Next time we uh -huh. are going to talk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We want give to our own opinion. Volunteers. Yeah. We want volunteers in the group. Who wants to lead, uh, uh, give a message next time? And who wants to lead prayers? We, we need to do it yes, together. It's Otherwise, like it's, that. Too, it's too heavy for us. It's too heavy. I, okay. But they can they can do their things and then you will host. No problem. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Not letting us go. <laughs> like Pastor Vicky is listening to us. Pastor Vicky, what do you say? I thought Pastor Vicky was there. She is. Pastor Vicky. Oh, did they sign up? Brother Munia says it's too sweet to leave. We have it's, to go. It's... Every good thing comes to an end. Yes. No, be quiet. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's fine. Okay, Mommy, next we'll week then. it's next gonna week be give... prayer. Pure. We're not gonna preach. Yes. Next week is just gonna be prayer from it's beginning to prayer. end. So if you have a you subject know... you want to pray about, give it yes. to us. We'll find a. a a fire-filled verse. We're just oh, going to pray. So if you want to fast next week, feel free to do that. Feel free to do so. We are going to pray and enjoy. Yeah, yeah we will pray. Maybe Amen. even if it is just 30 minutes or 40 minutes. No, we will pray because we only have 15 minutes exhortation. It was specifically requested about the life of holiness. Yes. A few people have requested it, so we will pray along that line it was already planned so it will be prayer next week but, but I'm prepared. are you are you still online to chat with the group with the, with the oh with yeah the we're in the yes. we're in the group okay so stay <sighs> there go. go ah, don't speak french don't speak french <sighs> don't speak french let them hear you <laughs> i thought i was gonna run I away french. i don't understand french anymore I forgot all my French. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. All God right. bless you. We love Amen. you. We are still here. Thank you, Bishop. We love you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank bye. you, Angeline. Thank you, Mama. Are you going Angelina to pray to close the prayer? Amen. Can, close. Bye -bye can you bless like us, that. Mommy? Please bless us before we can go, Mommy. Please. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Father. Mm. Amen. When we walk with the Lord. In the light of his world, what a glory he sheds on our way.
When we do his sweet will, he abides with us still. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and, and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus. But to trust and obey. obey. What he says, we will do. Where he says, we will go. We will never be afraid. I'm tired. Father, we give you praise for this youth meeting. Amen. We exalt your holy name for Pastor Rose and our dear sister Betty and all these young ones who have committed themselves also to this group. The ones we see here today, the ones that we don't see. And for all the youth group in Christ Love Ministries, all the young ones, we thank you for your heart is with them. And we thank you for starting this online ministration. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for blessing it as well. Amen. Whatever impartation mm. that has been done so far on these young ones, we decree and declare that it is permanent and is fruit, fruit bearing in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. It brings forth fruit a hundredfold in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, to bless uh, Pastor Rose and Sister Betty and their families for the time that they have surrendered to this youth meeting. And Lord, we ask that whatever it is that is in your mind, in your heart, for this fellowship, let your will be done. Amen. Let none of us do anything that is not in line with your will. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. We seal all the prayers and all the blessings with the precious blood of the Lamb. Thank you, omnipotent God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. Amen. See you. Bye. Love you all. God bless. Bye. Stop the recording. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.